Hi, my name is Lauren Warsham, and today I'll be speaking to you about the Seaside Boardwalk. Today for my audience is my roommate, Danielle. For many years now, I've been going to the Seaside Boardwalk with my family and friends. My favorite part of the boardwalk was the Moby, was the Moby Dick. After a full day of enjoying family fun, we would finish off with some ice cream. I was never able to leave the boardwalk without my vanilla ice cream cone with rainbow sprinkles. After all those years of returning weekend after weekend to the boardwalk, there were many things that I did not know and many things that I did not find out until researching myself. Being a local, I can only imagine what the vacationers think and know. When I was little, I would go on go onto the piers and not even notice the attractions that were right on the boardwalk. There are arcades with over hundreds of games and prizes, which some are open all year round, and carnival games like water guns, ball toss, and flip the frog. Not only are the activities among the seaside boardwalk interesting, the history behind it all is what developed it into such an outstanding attraction today. The seaside boardwalk is divided among two towns with two piers the Funtown Pier and Casino Pier, which are both filled with family fun. According to David, the town council did not make its first commitment to build the boardwalk until 1916. Joseph Vanderslice, the person behind the Senate Amusement Company, thought Seaside was a promising area for building his tourist attraction. The famous carousel that was constructed was, only, was solely run on gasoline. The boardwalk construction was finished in 1921, but did not open until 1932, with just the carousel. Back then, the only way to get into Seaside was by a train. The recent Toms River Bridge is what brought more tourists into Seaside today. In recent times, the boardwalk now brings about two different atmospheres. The nightlife built throughout the Seaside boardwalk is another tourist attraction, with 12 bars and pubs along the well-known Jersey Shore. The daytime is filled with family fun from the north to the south ends of the boardwalk with two famous piers. The first pier would be Casino Pier. According to their general information, we have 40 exciting rides imported from all around the world. The youngest will have fun, have a fun time on the numerous kiddie rides while the young at heart can experience the heart pumping 70 mile per hour action skyscraper, the centrifugal music force of the centrifuge and the creepy and spooky still walk manor. The Casino Pier is a family fun sun resort located along the Atlantic Ocean in Seaside Heights, New Jersey. Along the boardwalk, attractions like the mini rooftop, the rooftop mini golf, classical amusement pier, and arcade filled with the latest video games and prizes is the newly renovated water park. The casino pier is where the famous antique carousel is located. It is one of the two American-made carousels still standing today and has been a tradition to the seaside boardwalk since 1932. Aboard the carousel are 58 animals, 35 moving horses, and 18 stationary. Two camels, one lion, one tiger, two chariots, and 2016 light bulbs, and 15 antique paintings from 1910, located along the center of the carousel. With that being said, the second pier, which is the southern end of the boardwalk, is Funtown Pier. According to JSE Computers, we offer a full day for the entire family with thrill rides, numerous concessions, and rides for children of all ages. We have a fantastic go-kart track. There is no charge to come onto the pier and you can buy tickets for rides individually or buy a wristband for the whole day which is at a lower cost. Although many may think the pier is located in Seaside Heights, New Jersey, but as I said, the, as I said before, the boardwalk is spread along two towns. Funtown Pier is an attraction belonging to Seaside Park, New Jersey.
The pier extends 300 feet over the Atlantic Ocean with an incredible ocean view environment. There are 33 pier rides which are open from April to September. Another great attraction to the Funtown Pier is the excellence of welcoming birthday parties for children of all ages. The Funtown Pier also includes the famous Tower of Fear, which is 225 feet high giant ride, and the looping roller coaster where you can see the waves break right underneath you. In conclusion, the Seaside Boardwalk has two piers which bring the greatest amounts of tourists throughout the summer and being the greatest vacation spot of the Jersey Shore. The Seaside Boardwalk has been providing fun for numerous years. I would like to call your attention one more time to how the boardwalk is split between two towns. The boardwalk is not singly owned by Seaside Heights, New Jersey, but is owned by Seaside Park, the southern end of the boardwalk, which is Funtown Pier. There is a fact that many, that is a fact that many vacationers or locals do not know. Thank you for your time and I hope you all can make a trip to the Seaside Boardwalk very soon.